Hey, good morning, everyone. Oh, the music stopped. Awesome. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us for our live kickoff event. We know you got a million emails from us, so we're excited to see so many of you on this morning with us. That's right. Thanks for joining us. Hopefully you have your coffee. Uh, it's not Tuesday Coffee with Amy and Kevin. It's the kickoff event for It's All About Love. So thanks so much for signing on and joining us today. I wonder if people noticed our cool new background. Yeah, I don't know. It's a little chilly out here this morning on the lake. That's right. Windy, windy, We're... picking up speed on the lake. But the high today will be 61 degrees, and you will see a front moving in through the next three days. Wednesday will be the warmest day of the week. We're capping out at 72 degrees. <laughs> That's for our demo reel. We hope you like our new look. We decided to kick it up a notch for It's All About Love. That's right. So what is all about love, Amy? That's a great question, Kevin. So we have a program that we have designed to make sure that all of our agents are in the best possible position to have a strong and successful quarter four and a great 2021. Because at the end of the day, it's really about them taking the time to love themselves and really care for themselves. It's been a long 2020 so far. So we want them to really have the opportunity to uh, take a look at caring for themselves so that they can love others, whether it's their clients, their friends, family, you know, you've got to refill yourself first so that you can love others. And then ultimately, so that they can love what they do so that they can really enjoy this crazy world called real estate. That's right. So what can you expect from this program? Well, what's great about this is it's going to be daily, but it's going to be a digestible daily dose, 10 to 30 minutes. It's going to be a mix of live and recorded events. And each one of them is really going to focus on motivation and energy and coaching in each of the three areas that Amy just talked about. And that includes yourself, others, and also your business. And the goal here, really, something we're focusing on really at the beginning of the program definitely is focusing on personal growth. We've spent a lot of time on the 60 days of summer and do it now talking about your business. But as Amy said, it's really time to look at yourself and really make sure that we're doing the things to take care of ourselves personally so that we can take care of others and we can focus on our business. And the one thing that's really important is we did hear from all of you. I know that so many of you participated in Do It Now, which was awesome. And then the 30 days or 60 days of summer, but we know that you're busy. So we wanted to create a program that really allowed you to get some really great stuff fast and then move on with your day. That's right. So who is this for? It's for everybody, right? It's for everyone, regardless of your volume, regardless of your production, regardless of how long you've been in the business, whether you're tenured or you're newer, this format is really designed for everyone. And the goal here is to have serious uh, takeaways with each one of these events, with each one of the recordings or live events, takeaways that you can implement into your personal or professional life, even on a busy schedule. Yeah, it's supposed to be quick, meaningful, and just really easy for you guys to apply. So there's lots of great nuggets throughout all 12 weeks that are going to be great for you to use. So how do I track my success? That is a great question. So the first thing that we developed is a cool binder. Yes, that was my idea, and it's a cool binder. So you better all love it. No, it, it is cool. <laughs> It is cool. You'll love them. Everyone who registers will be receiving an It's All About Love binder. We, For those of you that registered by midday Friday, the first shipment of binders were sent out to the offices. So you'll be getting them throughout this week. So some of you will get them today, uh, tomorrow. And then if you register today or just registered this morning, not a problem. We'll be getting it out to you this week. And what the binder is used for is that we are going to have materials emailed to you every week. So every Monday after the live event, we're going to send out the materials that are focusing on the topic of our week. And it's going to be great stuff. It'll be reminders or worksheets or certain things that you can take a look at to really hone in on that topic. Um, and it'll be great. And your front desk will make sure that you get everything you need. Yeah, and the thing with the binder really take some, you know, put some effort into doing this because a lot of times we uh, we watch a video, we we do something, and then it goes in a drawer. So an example, business planning. A lot of times we do our business plan, we put a lot of time and effort into it, and then it goes into a drawer, and we don't look at it again. We want you to be able to reference this binder and what we talk about and what we learn because you're going to be able to use it in the future. So as we move into 2021 and through 2021 to 2022, there are going to be a lot of resources ideas, thoughts, and things that you've captured yourself 
in your binder that you want to make sure you can reference down the road. And then we have a weekly survey. So on Saturday mornings, a link is going to be sent to you via email. And it's your opportunity to share your successes with us. Uh, share what you've done for the week, you know, what you've accomplished, uh, things that you've thought about. We want to be taking this journey with you and we love your feedback. So we wanna hear from you, but we also would love for you to win some cool prizes too. So the more you give us feedback and share your successes, the greater the odds that you're gonna win something fabulous. Yes, and when we say fabulous, we'll get to that in just a second, what those prizes are. You maybe already know if you watched the video that was sent out this morning and last Friday, but what's in this for you? What can you expect to get out of it? The first is building great habits. And these are things that we can do that are habits that either we are going to focus on uh, professionally or personally, but they're gonna be a baseline for us. Uh, things that are really attainable, things that we can do easily without pie in the sky ideas uh, that are going to help us with a daily routine. The other thing it's gonna do is re-energize your business. This is an opportunity for you to take inventory of your business right now. Where are you at? Are you feeling overwhelmed, bogged down because the spring market really came this summer and there was really great activity for all of us? So let's take a look at where you're at now. And then we can talk about evaluating areas for growth or improvement. So really working on, you know, I love my business now, but I'm running ragged. So I need to figure out a better schedule or plan or I'm not as busy as I'd like to be. I need to figure out how to gear it up for this remainder of this year and into next year. And then what we really want you to do is have an opportunity to collaborate with your colleagues and prepare for a great 2021. I know your managing brokers are going to be working in collaboration with It's All About Love to make sure that as a team and as an office, you guys are sharing and really figuring out ways to get re-energized. Re and then the raffle prizes, and truly, I don't think at App Properties we've ever done anything like this. That said, they are the biggest, the biggest prize package that we've ever done. So what we're going to be giving away to those that participate, and when we say participate, what that means is, is joining in on these sessions, completing your binder, and then also filling out those weekly surveys that come through. But the prizes that are available, we're giving away Peloton bikes, computer laptops, iPads, Amazon gift cards, all sorts of things, great prizes that you can win for participating. And here's the bonus. If you participate and you do all the things that we talk through each week, your business is going to improve, your personal life is going to improve, and you may win a Peloton. And who doesn't want to win a Peloton? <laughs> that is right. <laughs> All right, so what is the schedule for the week? So we do have something for you Monday through Friday. Mondays are live at 9 a.m., just like you were here this morning for Love Your Monday. That's where we're going to kick off the topic of the week and get you ready to roll for a great week. Tuesdays, it's gonna be a video link. So it's gonna be our Coffee with Amy and Kevin. It's gonna be recorded and it's gonna be either us two talking through the topic, but more often than not, we're bringing in experts. And these are experts not only from our coaching and training team here at App Properties and other managing brokers, but really experts on the subject matter that we're gonna be discussing. And there are gonna be a lot of takeaways. Tuesdays are the day where we talk about the how to. Tuesdays are the day where you're gonna walk out and be able to implement what we talked about into your personal and professional life. And then on Wednesday, it's going to be another video link sent out by 9 a.m. And it's what would Golden Wong do? I mean, we can't have a successful series if we don't have Mike or Thad at least weigh in from time to time, right? Uh, so on Wednesdays, you're going to get a great nugget from either Mike or Thad or sometimes both about the topic of the week. What would they do? What have they seen in their own experiences in real estate? And they're going to share it with you. And then Thursday, something we did during 60 Days of Summer are the Ninja Agent Accelerators. And these are great. You don't have to have gone through a Ninja installation to attend or get something out of it. And the Ninja Agent Accelerators are great because they're about 30 minutes, watch a video and then discuss. And when we discuss, we talk about the direct takeaways that you can implement. So that's 30 minutes starting at 9.30 live on Thursdays. And then on Friday, to head you into the weekend, we're going to motivate you. And I'm going to get even more pumped than I am now with more decaf coffee. Video link at 9 a.m. will come out. And it's just going to be a way to wrap up the week, uh, the conversations and the things that we talked about during that week. Um, and then really being able to motivate you as you head into the weekend. Yes. So 
we have available to you in your office and digitally that's been sent out a full 12 week program schedule where you can see what's coming next. You can look at each day and see what the topics are. You can look at each week and see what the topic and subject matter is that week, what we are going to focus on. And in this schedule, what Amy had suggested earlier is that you take a look at the things that are most important to you and make sure that you don't miss them. Circle that week, circle those days, put them in your calendar now to make sure that you don't miss the events you really want to see. And what Kevin recommended is just circle the whole thing because it's so exciting and you're going to have a blast these 12 weeks, we promise you. That's right. And here's the good thing. Even if you can't make one of the events, it's going to be recorded. So we'll talk about that momentarily right now. So program materials, you're going to be able to easily find everything on platform. There's a dedicated page there. Right now, there is nothing there. This is our first live kickoff event, but everything as it's being recorded is going to be accessible. So if you do have a conflict, you're not able to watch us on Mondays or live on Thursdays, you're going to be able to watch all of the material easily accessible through platform. Yes, we're really excited about this upgrade. It's going to be really easy for you to find everything. So let's talk about week one. We're here right now on Love Your Monday. So today in this week moving forward, we're going to talk about four critical things. Work-life balance. Creating good habits. Establishing or maybe reestablishing a morning routine. And then remembering that everything is about gratitude. So let's talk about the first one, work-life balance. We're going to get into detail on all of this with co on, on coffee tomorrow, but really wanted you to have an opportunity to think about your work-life balance because, you know, again, 2020 has been quite an interesting year from a shelter in place to a whole new norm of how we actually run our business. And many of you have been full throttle, uh, quite simply because we know it. You've got to take the opportunity when it presents itself. But we also know that if you don't take time for yourself and to do the things that you love and things that are good for you personally, you cannot drive work constantly all the time. So we're going to talk a bit about work-life balance and what that looks like. Taking inventory now and figuring out maybe how to get a better version of work-life balance moving forward. That's great. There's always this push and pull and tugging back and forth, right? Especially this year. So we're also going to talk about creating good habits. We all have habits, whether they're positive habits that lead us to where we want to go, push us forward towards our goals, or they're habits that hold us back. So we're going to take a look at those habits, look at the ones that we can create or modify, and how we can create sustainable habits, not something that we do for two days or a week, something that we can do long term that with just a small action will have a huge impact on ourselves personally and professionally, but we're really focusing on the personal habits that are going to foster the way that you take care of yourself and others. And one other thing we're gonna talk about in habits, because I know this personally, is you have a great streak. You might be great working out for two weeks straight or you're eating great for two weeks, and then you have a really bad one, two or three days. Part of a habit is also learning how to get back onto course with that habit if you've kind of gone off the rails. We've all done it, and I think that's always the most challenging thing because you're never going to be perfect all the time, but if you have this idea that you can continually get back into a habit and get back on track, that's going to help you. That's right. We're all human. Every now and again, everyone eats a 24-inch pizza by themselves. Really? Just kidding. Next slide. <laughs> All right, we're going to talk about establishing a morning routine. So we talked about this in Do It Now. We actually had the daily five, which we're going to talk about more tomorrow. Um, but it's really figuring out how to stay, start your day off right. Um, I actually felt like I had to practice what I preach. So believe it or not, I got up this morning really early. I don't know how I did. I actually set my clock my phone across the room on loud, so I had to get up. But I got up at 5 a.m. to start my day. So it's really tough to do, but we wanna talk about starting your day off with a great morning routine. And then part of our, uh, you know, taking care of ourselves is also remembering it's all about gratitude. Remembering that there are scientific studies, and we heard about it from Sean Aker when he came and talked to us at the expo. There are books, there are all this material that references how showing gratitude can help improve ourselves and our lives and our daily outlook and set us up. So we're really going to talk about this and the impact that showing gratitude and reflecting upon what we can be grateful for has an impact on us daily. 
So remember to join us tomorrow for Coffee with Amy and Kevin. The video link is gonna be available by 9.30 a.m. And what Kevin and I are gonna focus on are those four things, work-life balance, great habits, establishing a morning routine, and focusing on gratitude. And really teaching you, um, we've got some great tips on how to start with gratitude. If it's something that has not been part of your routine, some of the beginner steps for making it something you do every day. That's right. So. Thank you for joining us this morning for this kickoff. Make it a great day. And remember, we're going to talk about loving yourself, loving others, and loving what you do. So we're really excited to take this journey with you. Uh, feedback is great, so share it with us anytime. And remember, you are going to have your binders in your office this week. If you register, your office managers uh, know that and they've got a list of who's registered. And then also keep an eye out after this. There are going to be the materials for this week are gonna be sent out via email after we're off of this program. That's right. And we can, can we do this one more time? Love yourself. Love others. Love what you do. Thanks everybody for joining us. And if you don't have a photo like this at home where you're putting your finger on the Top antenna of the, of the Sears, or is that, I Wallace, can't see. What is it the called? screen is really small for us. Um, in any case, bad jokes. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow. For Thanks coffee. guys, make it a great week.